so much of the first few weeks, a lot of installing, a lot of continuing to learn the offense. Just how do you measure your improvement from the beginning of camp to now? Um, I feel like I've done a good job. I feel like I've learned the offense. I feel like we definitely got more comfortable with it with all the motions, the installs, um, especially going out in the game plan. You know we're going to run for the game. Uh, while fall camp spring ball, you have like a huge variety of plays you got to remember. Uh, when the game plan starts to get shrunken down, you know what the plays are going to be called in certain down and distances. So it's been a lot easier. And it's been fun, man. I've had a good job. I've had a fun time. Uh, just be able to learn the offense, be able to game plan with the coaches, be able to understand how Coach Norvell, Coach Atkins, Coach Tokar thinks. Uh, it's been a fun process, though. Coach Norvell's talked about the growth of the wide receivers, especially in the last week or so. You know, what have mm -hmm. you seen from those guys? Now, they've done an unbelievable job, man. Uh, I think the biggest thing, man, they're competing each and every single day. They're running full speed routes every single rep, and then they're making plays, man. You know, they're finishing the reps. Finishing those catches, getting the yak after the catch too. Uh, it's been explosive, man. So I'm happy to see that, man. They've done a hell of a job right now. What, what does that do for you when you see them consistently making those contested catches? Like yeah, man, it makes my job easy. Yeah, I just got to put it in the spot, and I know they're going to make the catch, make the grab, and make me look good. So at the end of the day, they've done an unbelievable job. Uh, just coming out to work each and every single day, having that mindset to come out there, compete, and then they've just been dominating. It's been good to see. What about the emergence of Jalen Brown? He's been making a ton of plays Yeah, no, he's done an unbelievable job, man. I think from the start of fall camp, you can tell he's coming with a different mindset, with a dog mindset, coming in, taking the reps, wanting to be wanting to be a perfectionist with the reps, with the routes, coming in each and every day, approaching the rep. He's done a really good job, man. I'm happy to see that, man. He's been balling. How would you describe your style of leadership for the team, and how do you hope to set the tone for that in the first game? Uh, for me, man, I'm kind of a quiet guy. Uh, just kind of lead by example. Don't need to talk. Not too much of a rah rah type of guy. Just kind of just say my piece uh, here and there. Uh, biggest thing for me, man, is going to be a great teammate, be a great leader. Uh, just lead by example for the guys. When you look at Georgia Tech, and you know they obviously have a new defensive coordinator. But what have you seen from the Georgia Tech defense so far? On film? Yeah, uh, I think we got a bunch of guys coming in. Uh, we got a couple transfers. I think the D line are really good on the D line. Uh, athletic with the linebackers, good size, and then the DVs and safeties, they've done a really good job. Big guys can move really well. Uh, I think they do a really good job, man. It'll be a good game for us, good test. What have you seen from Malik Benson? He's going to be your wide receiver one out there, probably the guy you have to trust most. What do you think of him and how's that relationship with him? It's been great, man. Uh, for me, man, he makes it easy on me. You know, he, he makes the catches. Uh, wants to come out and work each and every single day. He's a guy who always asks me, he always tells me he's open. And I appreciate that. You know, you got a receiver like, hey, man, throw me the rock. I'm always open. And that's what you want to hear, man. So he's done an unbelievable job, man. He's a good dude, too. Coach Rubio made the comment that he felt like this team really loves to play with one another and he sees them coming together. Do you get that sense from your perspective, especially around the offense? Uh, 100%. I think uh, for us, man, even our, even defense, too. Like, we're a tight knit group on the team. We all love each other. We all want to play for one another, man. At the end of the day, we all have a common goal. We want to win each and every ball game. We want to come out, compete. Uh, help, brother, help each and other our teammates out. We do crossover and stuff like that. Compete for one another. Give each other a look. At the end of the day, keep each other safe, man. Go out there and ball off the game. How excited are you just to get out there and play for FSU for the first time? Super excited, man. Um, this is an unbelievable opportunity God's given me. Uh, Coach Neville and all the coaches uh, give me the opportunity to be able to come here and be a Florida State Seminole. So I want to be able to represent the Seminole proud, proud and I represent for my teammates, man. So I'm super excited. Is this the first time you ever traveled overseas? Yeah, no, I've never been out the country before. This, so this is the first time. Uh, I'm excited, man. Finally get to use my passport. Yeah, <laughs> pretty dope. Yeah. What was the initial reaction when you surprised your teammate with these by Dre headphones? Oh, uh, they were super excited. Uh, thankful. Uh, shout out to my good people at Beats, man, for, be able to, for letting me to do that, be able to get my teammates a pair of headphones for the trip and for the rest of the season. So I appreciate you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.